What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Monday, July 17th. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you five altcoins that I think are great investments in terms of the next bull market. Now, with that said, just keep in mind that this is not financial advice, this is just my opinion and just for your own entertainment. So please do your own due diligence before investing in any of these altcoins. So all of this is just my own perspective. Now, I just wanna catch up with everybody what's been going on with the whole crypto market because over the past week since I was on vacation, which is why I haven't seen any videos posted, a lot has happened. A lot of announcements have happened and I cannot wait to share with you a brief recap of what happened over the past week and then talking about these five altcoins. So with that said, be sure to like the button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. Now, back in the day when we were in a bull market for the whole cryptocurrency aspect, we were at the $2 trillion mark. So obviously there's a lot of gains that have to come back to that place, because right now we're only at 1.2. Keep in mind that we are at the fear and greed index around 57, which is neutral. Now, let's not waste any time. Let's talk about what's happened over the past week. Now, Watcher Guru did a really great job of a weekly recap. Now, we do know that the US judge ruled that XRP is not a security. That was huge news. That's why we saw a huge pump in most cryptocurrencies. Then also we saw that US inflation falls to 3%, lower than expectations. Europe also launched a first spot Bitcoin ETF this month, which is gonna be very exciting. Also, the former SEC chairman says that spot Bitcoin ETF should be approved. He said this on air on the news. And then also Coinbase decided to relist Ripple XRP seriously within 24 hours after the US judge ruled that XRP was not a uh, security. And then also we had a $9 trillion asset manager, BlackRock CEO, say that crypto will transcend international currencies due to global demand. This is the largest asset manager in the world and in other major news around the sec they finally acknowledged blackrock spot bitcoin etf application not only that they also acknowledged fidelity vanek wisdom tree and Invesco around their applications as well they're not saying it's inadequate they're not saying it's incomplete now they are acknowledging it which makes people feel that sooner or later a spot bitcoin etf could be passed this year and also bank of america ordered to pay 250 million to charging illegal fees and opening credit card accounts without customer consent this just goes to centralization is not the way to go that's why bitcoin and cryptocurrency is now becoming the new global exchange and last but not least we have seen the australian security Security Exchange Commission receive its first spot Bitcoin ETF application. How crazy is that? Now, with all this great news, you need to position yourself in the best altcoins. So what are my five altcoins? Well, let's talk about the very first one. You may be really shocked to hear this, but I'm going to mention Dogecoin. Why Dogecoin? Why am I bringing up a meme coin? Well, I really think that Elon Musk, who is the founder and CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, Listen, he is a big fan of Dogecoin. He's even mentioned Dogecoin on Twitter as a form of payment. Now that he owns Twitter, if cryptocurrency is regulated within the United States, Dogecoin could be the new form of currency that could be sent across Twitter. That's why I think at right now around 9 billion market cap, yeah, that's a lot of money. But when you see these big asset managers such as you know Wisdom Tree, BlackRock, and so forth, so on, once you see them ape into these and give exposure to their investors and clients, this 9 billion is not gonna be 9 billion anymore. We're talking about the whole cryptocurrency market cap is gonna go into the trillions like together. So that also means that a lot of money is gonna be flowing into Dogecoin. So right now we can see that maybe Dogecoin could do really well because it's ranked nine out of the whole crypto market cap. Now, next up I wanna talk about is the Dust token. Yes, Dust token is a token for an NFT collection, which is called DGODs. The reason I bring this up is because, I don't know if you've heard of ApeCoin, ApeCoin is a native token for the NFT collection Board Ape Yacht Club and Yuga Labs. Well, Dust Token is a part of the DGODS ecosystem. And DGODS is right now aiming to be the number one collection across all blockchains and could definitely flip Board Ape Yacht Club. So right now, if you think about it, Dust Token is right now around 43 million. That's very low compared to the 700 million mark cap of ApeCoin. So this token could definitely skyrocket and can definitely garner attention from family offices, normal day investors, institutions. That's how crazy this could be. So right now, I think around $2.29 for each one of these tokens could do really well in my perspective. Keep in mind, the circulating supply is only 33 million. 
right? Because Dogecoin doesn't have a, a limited supply. It keeps building a new supply. So that's why I think this token is heavily undervalued. So the third token I want to talk about is Solana. Yes, yeah, Solana has pumped majorly based on the XRP news. Now, the reason Solana pumped is because it was considered a security based on the SEC's perspective, and this token was delisted from major exchanges. Yes, and that's what happened. It ended up dropping the floor price of this actual token quite a bit. And because the judge ruled that XRP was not security, we saw this pump over 60% within the past 48 hours of that news. So right now, I definitely think that this token is not going anywhere. It's one of the most scalable, most secured blockchains out there. And really the NFT market, the DeFi market, I really feel that Solana is going to allow people who are new to the crypto space and Web3 space to learn a lot faster. And that's how I learned a lot as well within the blockchain is that Solana was a great educational point of view. So keep that in mind. Now, let's talk about the fourth altcoin and that's going to be Ethereum. Yes, I'm talking about Ethereum. Why? I definitely think Ethereum is undervalued. You must be like, why is it undervalued? Vincent, the market cap is $232 billion. Well, Ethereum has a huge network base. Everybody uses Ethereum. Everybody builds their NFT collections on Ethereum. It's been established. It's one of the second cryptocurrencies that was created after Bitcoin. That's how it goes to show you how long this has been around for. But also, as much as Ethereum is being created for transactions, it's also deflationary. So sooner or later, I think that Ethereum is going to be the new silver. And why I think right now, Bitcoin being at around 30,000, Ethereum being around 1,900, I definitely think that Ethereum is heavily undervalued. I definitely think Ethereum could reach into multi-thousands of dollars, right? If, if gold is considered the most prized real asset in the real world and silver is falling after that, imagine what Ethereum will do for Bitcoin. So keep that in mind. I want you to think about this because right now I definitely think Ethereum is undervalued. Now, with the last thing I want to share with you for this next altcoin, keep in mind, this is something that I've never talked about on this channel, but I'm going to bring it up today. The last altcoin I'm going to bring up is XRP. Why am I talking about XRP? Now, XRP is such a hero in this aspect. Why am I talking about it? It's because they were the first ones to be sued by the SEC to be considered a security. And because of this ruling that the judge did for XRP, it's absolutely set a new benchmark for cryptocurrency. In fact, XRP has technically saved the whole cryptocurrency market. They were the ones, especially their founder, Brad Garlinghouse, was never going to bend head over knees for the SEC. No, they decided we're not going to stand by the SEC using enforcement or using bullying to scare them. And in fact, XRP has spent millions upon millions of dollars in lawsuits against the SEC because the SEC has just completely pummeled them left and right, trying to pin them in a corner. And because of this recent judge ruling for XRP in their favor, now it's totally set a new standard for all these other cryptocurrencies. Now that we're seeing this happen, I think that XRP being the hero that it is, we need to support that. And so right now with a market cap of around $38 billion, I think that's not a bad idea. And it is ranked number four. I think there could be more upside with XRP. Now, I don't know much about XRP in terms of its utility other than it being a form of currency so that people can send money across the world. But right now, I think that right now we just need to support XRP because they definitely made some huge changes in historical movements. And that's why XRP is one of my favorite best altcoins to date. Now, with that said, let me know your thoughts down below on what altcoins you think we should cover on this channel, because if we haven't already, we need to address them. And we cannot wait to read those comments and do our research and share it on this channel. So be sure to like up the button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and buy and sell orders, on both NFTs and cryptocurrencies. Until then, we'll see you guys and girls next time.